In this video, I want to show you this really cool effect called the comic book effect. As you can see, this video and this video have already applied this really cool comic book look effect. So let's go ahead, click on the video, and just uncheck the effect. As you can see, it's already brought up here. But what you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel and then go over to comic looks. Once you're in comic looks, as you can see, you can change it to a whole bunch of different effects, but I like to use the comic basic. So just drag the effect onto the clip, adjustment layer, clips, or wherever you're trying to apply this effect. Now you can go over here and head over to here, which is just in this effects panel over here, and you can change the color, you can change it to gray, or you can change it to just black and white. I like to just use the color effect and then over here, here's you can start having a lot of fun. You could mess with the smoothness a little bit, whatever color, you're, whatever like effect you're trying to achieve. I would turn the, smooth, uh, the smoothness down. In my personal opinion, it just looks cooler when it's down. That to me just looks a little weird. So let's go ahead and bring the smoothness down and the ink edge, you can mess with the ink edge. I personally think when it's all the way down it just looks a little too dark. So I would bring it up. I think that looks really, really cool. So let's also mess with the ink smoothness. As you can see, that again looks really cool, uh, looks a little weird. So I just would not uh, turn the smoothness up too high. It just looks really fake and now it starts to look like an actual painting. So let's bring the ink smoothness down a little bit. In my opinion, I think that looks really, really professional. Now you can mess with the ink fill a little bit. Now if you turn it up, it's just going to look dark. So I would turn it down. I think that looks really cool. You can also mess with the polarize uh, levels. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So I would just maybe turn it maybe like 10 or 12. I think that looks a lot nicer. And the mix, that's just the difference between the normal video and the comic book effect. So... It just depends on what you're trying to achieve. But if you're using this effect, I would turn the mix up pretty high because you're trying to achieve this really cool comic book look. And as you can see, this is what the comic book looks like. Now pretty much here, it's the same thing. So let's go ahead. I think the volume is muted, but let's just play through. So that's what it looked like. Now it looks a little bit, has a little bit of noise because my video isn't super dark. But as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. I think that looks really cool. Again, it's like anything, it's all a personal uh, preference, so it's up to you whether or not you like this. I actually put use this effect in one of the photos I posted on my Instagram, I think a couple months ago, the beginning of April. I kind of like this effect. You can kind of mess around with it and just kind of do a whole bunch of different things. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll be giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. I upload new Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. Anyways guys, see you guys in the next one. Peace.